Welcome everybody. My name is Loretta Wetzel, also known as Mama Soul Wisdom, and I am a comeback champion. I have a very important question to ask you. How many of you want to lead an abundant and powerful life? A fully blown, self-expressed life? Now, I know some of you lead good lives already, but I'm talking about an off-the-chain, unmessable with, I can say what I want to say and do what I want to do type life. Well, what I'm about to share with you are 10 lost secrets of success. So powerful, it will transform your life and your family's life for generations to come. I call it old school wisdom for a new generation. Practice these secrets daily and watch a whole new world open up for you. But first, let me share with you a story about a young girl who had big dreams growing up in a big city. She grew up in a family that didn't have a whole lot of money, but had a whole lot of love. Her neighborhood was filled with broken glass, empty lots, and vacant, dilapidated buildings. None of her classmates in elementary school ever talked about what they wanted to be when they grew up. It was survive the streets and move away to a different neighborhood as fast as you could. Her parents scrimped and saved to send her to a private high school only to encounter a different set of problems. You see, socially, she did not fit in. These high school students grew up with silver spoons in their mouths and were used to having resources to throw big parties, go skiing in the wintertime, and travel in the summer. Were you ever in a situation where you felt awkward just being there? Where you felt like a square peg trying to fit into a round hole? But then you think, wait, it must be better in college, right? Didn't your parents tell you to go to school, get good grades, go to college and graduate so you could come out and find a good paying job? Except for even with all the degrees and qualifications, you still wound up making less money than your counterparts who are typically less educated, less experienced, but knew how to play the game. Then when you find a career that you finally like and you work your way up the corporate ladder, despite sabotage attempts to get you fired, you find out that your company is merging with another big company and suddenly your executive high paying salary job is eliminated due to layoffs and you go from six figures to no figures with two kids in college with out of state tuition. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that young girl was me growing up and I had to figure out my life's purpose. Bad things happen to all of us. Death, job loss, health issues, etc. And just like the COVID-19 crisis of today, I had to learn how to pivot and shift. I chose a different path of entrepreneurship, which led to me learning how to become a real estate investor and business owner. So now, what I used to earn in one year, I can now earn in three months. You see, 
I am a comeback champion. But how did I arrive at that life choice? It's because I use the powerful secrets I'm about to share with you to transform my life and have a whole new world open up for me. These success secrets were passed down from my parents and their parents, from my neighbor's parents and their parents, from my aunties, my uncles, and church mothers from the African griots and the ancient thought leaders. Somehow, these secrets have gotten lost along the way, buried deep in the political noise and media. It's so easy these days to get numbed by all the negativity happening in the world today. But if you let the darkness in, it definitely will stop you in your tracks. But I'm here today to expose these success secrets and share love and light with all of you. Why? So you wake up in the morning and you thrive, not just survive, to jump out of bed and say, this is the best day of my life. To feel safe, happy, and strong. I call it Loretta living, and it can be your lifestyle too if you embrace it. God made you as powerful human beings. Although what I'm about to share with you are powerful secrets, using them alone is not enough. Used together as a system with a supportive tribe of like-minded individuals would lead you toward a path of loving the life you live. I've used each and every one of these secrets I'm about to share with you, and they work if you work it. Are you ready? Let's get started. Secret number one, success is an inner an outer game in that order. Have you ever tried to bake a cake or clean your clothes? There's a certain order within the recipe as you add and mix the ingredients. You wash your clothes first before you dry them in order for them to be clean. Well, if you want to be successful in life, you must pay attention to your inner game first because it reflects your beliefs. If you think beliefs are important, then the next time you blow your financial budget or self-sabotage a perfectly good relationship and you don't understand why, remember your inner game and your belief system. You see, some of us don't really believe that we can be successful. We suffer from stinking thinking. It's not your fault, really. There haven't been any role models for you to imitate what a successful business owner looks like, or maybe you've been told your whole life to stop chasing dreams. So you go with what you know, and you never bother to expand your growth. Your belief system is designed to keep you safe and comfortable. Here's the secret you must understand. Comfort kills success and keeps you from re-examining your beliefs. There is a quote by Joseph Campbell that fits this perfectly. The cave we are afraid to enter holds the treasure we seek. Here's another inside secret. There is a difference between knowing what to do and what you believe. Logically, you understand and you know that eating cupcakes will ruin your weight loss goals. 
but your best girlfriend is having a birthday party with a few close friends and you believe she will be upset with you if you don't bring the cupcakes per her request. We get so caught up in our own beliefs, we don't even bother to ask if it's okay to bring a fruit tray and cupcakes to the party instead. Communication is key to solving every problem and it is a critical factor in understanding your belief system. Then you can focus on your outer game, having goals, taking action, and measuring results. Secret number two, here is the biggest lie ever told. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. There was once a young girl who loved to sing and she used to find whatever she could around the house to create music and keep the beat. But the girl lived with a single parent and her mother worked multiple jobs just to make ends meet. Consequently, her mother always told her daughter, stop making so much noise all the time so she could sleep. The young girl soon began to change her demeanor from being very happy and smiling to sullen with behavior problems at school. During the parent-teacher conference, the parent asked the daughter why her grades dropped. The young girl replied, why bother? I have no reason to be happy because I can't sing. Now, the parent never told her to stop singing, but the words she used translated into, my voice must sound ugly to my mother and she can't sleep. If my voice is ugly, then I too must also be ugly and not good enough. Listen to me very carefully. Here's the secret to master. The power of our words creates our reality. Use them wisely and say what you mean. And for heaven's sake, stop trash talking to yourself. Some of the things we say quietly to ourselves when we are disappointed by something we said or did, you wouldn't say to your worst enemy. So it's not just the words you say, it's also the words you think. There is an old school wisdom that goes like this. If you do what you say you're going to do, then pretty soon your life will look like how you say it does. Be sure to honor your words. Secret number three, one day or day one, you choose. Have you ever met those people who live on Sunday Island? You know the ones. They say, someday when I get a better job, I'll go on vacation. Or someday I'll exercise when I find the time. Or someday when the kids grow up and out the house, I'll treat myself to nicer furniture, clothes, car, you fill in the blank. This is the mindset of scarcity and the time will never be right to create what you want until it's almost too late. Here's the secret to master. You get to say how your life goes. Not your mama, not your spouse, or your best friend. And choose powerfully and decisively. Don't waffle back and forth. You choose not because of the circumstances. 
you do take circumstances into consideration and then sometimes you choose despite the circumstances. My parents thought I was nuts when I went from a good paying job with time flexibility to a barely above minimum wage job just to start working in the airline industry. Given the education that I had and the income expectations, it didn't match. But I wanted to see the world and this choice was the only way I knew how to do it and to take my family with me. I made a choice to follow my dreams. Will you? Will it be one day or day one? You choose. For nothing is impossible with God. Sooner or later, life moves on and so should we is the next secret. Some events and people may be part of history, but they don't have to be part of your destiny. Staying stuck in the past, reliving events over and over again in your mind, thinking the outcome is going to be different is pure insanity. Sometimes we do it anyway and waste precious moments of our lives. Here's the secret to master. Stay present. We spend so much time regretting the past and worrying about the future. We forget what can be done right now. Everything you need is available to you right now. All the resources you need, all the people you need, all the time you need is available to you right now. You must powerfully choose. Ooh, you see how these secrets work together? Powerfully choose to live in the present. Here's some old school wisdom for you. Take what you have and make what you want. That's what my mama taught me. Wherever you are in life right now, you can choose to make a positive difference in your life, in your family lives, and in the lives of others. Shift your perspective and stay present. You can lose the world, but gain the universe. Secret number five, ask yourself this question. How many voices are in your head? The constant chatter in our head is sometimes unbearable. Especially if you have a family or you're responsible for other human beings. In your mind you say, should I do this? Should I do that? And pretty soon you're shooting all over yourself. Throw in your emotions good or bad, and the classic battle appears. The battle between angel on one shoulder and devil on the other. Taking action without clarity creates confusion and you'll go nowhere fast. Here's the secret to master. The first step to transformation is awareness. Open your eyes. Uncloud your vision. Get clear on what you want to do and where you want to go. Quiet the chatter. Now how do you do that? Well here's some more old school wisdom and I recommend it. One, be still. Get off that freaking hamster wheel and take a moment for a time for yourself alone in silence. Two, listen to your body and it will tell you definitely what you want. Practice deep breathing. It clears the negative energy out of your system and I'm talking deep breaths from your diaphragm, not the shallow breathing from your chest. And three, journal some gratitude. Every day, write down 10 different things that you are grateful for. You'll be surprised how clear your mind gets 
when you spend some time staring at a blank page and then you just begin writing. Your downloads are coming from the universe so you can get clear. More information is not necessarily wisdom. You must be still. Take control of your emotions. Are you bigger than your trigger? Your power comes when you claim emotional sovereignty, when you stop giving credit for things outside of you. Secret number six, fill her up. To change who you are, you must change who you think you are. Remember, your belief system is tied to your thinking. I remember Les Brown sharing this story so vividly. There were two men who were both laid off from work. One guy looked for jobs but could never find employment. Pretty soon, he started allowing negativity to take over and hanging out with his negative friends. Then he added drinking alcohol to numb the pain. The other guy never gave up and kept looking for jobs, believing there was a job out there somewhere with his name on it. After a long period of time, he still couldn't find a job, but one of the companies he interviewed at really needed his skills and services. So he asked if he could volunteer there without pay. Showed up early, stayed late, and contributed. The other guy became so despondent, he felt he was no longer a man because he couldn't financially take care of his wife and kids. The, the wife left for work one day, and when she returned, discovered he had committed suicide. The guy who continued to volunteer his time at a company discovered that a manager unexpectedly left and a job position became open. Guess who got the job? Here's the secret to master. Nurture and protect your mindset. One of the ways you can do that is to use positive affirmations daily. Record them on your own voice and listen. Now, if you really want those affirmations to stick, combine physical activity while listening to them. The ultimate trick is to, is to develop a positive power question, beginning with, how can I continue to, and fill in the blank. When you ask yourself that power question repeatedly at night, five minutes before you go to bed, your subconscious will work tirelessly all night long to find an answer. When you wake up in the morning, ask that same power question and journal your inspired action. Then take it. Pretty soon, the world you live in will appear to be a much brighter place and you'll be happier. So will everyone else around you. Secret number seven, the four finger salute. There's an old school wisdom saying, every time you point the finger at someone, Four fingers point right back at you. Taking a little R&R &R no longer stands for rest and relaxation. It stands for radical responsibility. In order to be truly successful in life, you must be willing to accept responsibility for your beliefs and your thoughts and your emotions to attract the things that we really want in life. Happiness, fun, peace. The secret to master, emotional sovereignty. Take control of your emotions 
so that you can be bigger than your trigger. Your power comes when you claim your emotional sovereignty. When you stop giving credit for things or circumstances outside of you and instead you claim responsibility inside of you. When you become triggered, it just means something inside of you requires healing. Emotions isn't something that we just feel. It's something we do and how we do it. Whether we get angry or get revenge, whether we forgive and love, it's all tied to our emotions. So take responsibility for your life in order to succeed. Secret number eight, where in the world is Wakanda? Most of us have seen the movie Black Panther and there was this magical city called Wakanda where technological advancements were common and healthy living was practiced within the community. It was kept hidden, but those who were enlightened could find it. So what is out there in your world that you can support for your purpose, your dreams, and your goals? And you don't know where to find it. Here's the secret you must master. Become naturally curious and willing to gain exposure. I am totally convinced that the road from the schools to the jails is made straighter every day because our children of color haven't been exposed to what's possible for them. Generations go by within the same family who have never been outside the four corners of the block, much less to a different restaurant with different foods or to a different city. Exposure to different occupations, different entertainment like books and theater, different schools of thought, what it's like to live on the farm, what it's like to live on an island. Here's some more old school wisdom for you. Once you know better, you do better. When you see your way out to a different way of living, you can now see what's possible and go out and get it. Secret number nine, build your own dream team. Secret number eight leads me to secret number nine because you may not have anybody in your family that understands or supports your vision. So now what do you do? Well, everything I've learned about building relationships, I've learned from Beyonce. That's right. She is the master of building relationships. So when the music industry doesn't want to give her her props, she went out and built her own empire by building relationships with different businesses and different people who had resources so she could have the freedom to, hear me people, freedom to do what she wants to do for herself and her family. So here's the secret to master. Find people to support your vision, whether at work or expanding your own business. Who's wearing your t-shirt? I have found that if you ask people to support you, they may not be the right person, but they can guide you to who might be the right person that can support you. Be fearless in your quest to create whatever you want out of life and the universe will send you resources to support you if you're ready to receive them. Finally, secret number 10. Love yourself first. It all starts with self-love and acceptance. 
There's a reason why the safety announcement on the plane states you put your own oxygen mask on first before you help others. You've got to be the change you wish to see. So here's the secret to master. Identify and protect all that you value. If you value loving yourself, then act like it. Health is the new wealth and rejuvenation of the soul is key. Get connected with your spirituality. If you value your family, act like it. Act like a role model for them. Whether you realize it or not, besides passing down your DNA, you're also passing down your behaviors and your habits. How many ways can a statue dream of living? It can't, but you can. Drop the expectations and give yourself permission to start over. Your success depends on it. So I will leave you with the three rules of death and the three rules of life. The three rules of death you definitely must stay away from at all costs. Resistance, resentment, and revenge. revenge. Get rid of fear, helplessness, and victimhood. The three rules of life you must always gravitate towards. Fearless faith, freedom, and love. You love deeper, richer, wider and it will lead to your empowerment and the empowerment of others, your family, your friends, and your community. Most importantly, it will lead to your success. I've shared with you only some of the lost secrets of success, but there are more. But given what you have, ask yourself this question. Are you playing with the rules that will set you up for success? Are you using these secrets I just shared with you to practice releasing the rules and behaviors that no longer serve you? If not, what are you going to do about it right now? Where are my action takers? Because I'm looking for you right now. People who demand more out of life for themselves and for their families. If you want to be connected to a tribe that's got your back and wants you to be safe, happy, healthy, and strong. If you want to be connected to a tribe where you'll be more respected, better connected, and receive greater social exposure, go to my webpage, www.mamasoulwisdom.com and click on, click here to learn more and receive three free downloads on information to support you and your family on thriving, not just surviving. Now, information alone won't get you there. Click the button at the bottom of the page that says schedule a call with mama and let's get together on a coaching call and moving you along your path of success. My name is Loretta Wetzel, also known as Mama Soul Wisdom, and I am a comeback champion. New beginnings start every day, so today is my January 1st. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.